What if the most powerful thing you can do for your brain is absolutely nothing? If you've ever felt guilty for sitting in silence, like you're wasting time when you're not consuming content, not listening to podcasts, not scrolling, your brain has been trying to tell you something critical. Because while everyone else is optimizing their input, highly intelligent people discovered their competitive advantage isn't what they consume. It's what they eliminate. And the neuroscience behind this is stunning. Stay with me. The reframe. You've been taught that silence is unproductive. That if you're not consuming information, you're falling behind. But there's a reality most people miss. Highly intelligent people know that silence isn't the absence of something. It's the presence of everything your brain needs to actually think. When was the last time you had a truly original thought while consuming content? You can't remember. Because your brain was in input mode, not create mode. And neuroscience just revealed something shocking. Just two hours of intermittent silence per day triggers the growth of new brain cells. In the region responsible for memory and intelligence, this isn't meditation. This isn't relaxation. This is cellular regeneration, the neuroscience. In 2001, neuroscientist Marcus Reichel made an accidental discovery that changed everything. When people stopped performing tasks and entered silence, their brains didn't power down. They powered up. A different network activated. The default mode network. This network activates most powerfully in the absence of external input. And this is where your brain does its most sophisticated work. Connecting unrelated ideas. Consolidating memory. Generating insight. Harvard research found this is literally where breakthrough thinking happens. But then came a discovery that made this actually practical. A 2013 Duke University study found that two hours of silence per day triggered new cell growth in the hippocampus, your memory and learning center. But here's what makes this work. It wasn't continuous silence. It was intermittent exposure windows of silence throughout the day. This pattern fits into real life. Now contrast this with constant input. Research found that continuous input, especially human speech from podcasts and audiobooks, keeps your brain in language processing mode. This prevents the default mode network from activating and floods your system with cortisol, which literally shrinks the hippocampus over time. Stanford researchers discovered that people who constantly consume media develop what they call continuous partial attention. Your brain never fully engages with anything. Always surface level. Never deep level. The average person now goes 47 minutes without silence while awake. Your brain has no time to think. Only time to react. The observable patterns. Here's how you know your brain is desperate for silence. First, the shower effect. Your best ideas come in the shower because it's the only place your phone can't follow you. No inputs, just white noise. Your default mode network activates, and suddenly you solve problems you've been stuck on for weeks. This isn't a quirk. This is your brain screaming for silence. Second, the retention gap. You listened to three podcasts this week. Now tell me one insight you retained. You can't. Without silence for processing, information never transfers to long-term memory. You're consuming without integrating. Third, the racing mind. You lie in bed exhausted, but your brain won't stop. Thoughts jumping, anxiety spiraling. This isn't insomnia. This is your default mode network trying to activate. Your brain has processing to do, but you've trained it to only work when you're trying to sleep. The protocol. This isn't about becoming a monk. This is strategic silence for cognitive enhancement. Here's the intermittent silence protocol. First, the morning window. 15 minutes. 
First 15 minutes after waking no phone, no podcast, no news. Just silence while you move through your morning routine. Your brain is transitioning out of theta state into full alertness. This is a critical window when the default mode network is most accessible. Don't interrupt it. Second, transition buffers. Five minutes, three times daily. Between major activities, after meetings, before projects, after lunch, your brain needs to close one cognitive chapter before opening the next. Otherwise, everything bleeds together. Third, deep processing block, 45 to 60 minutes. Once per day during routine tasks, walking, cleaning, gardening, no music, no background noise. This is when new neural pathways form, when you connect seemingly unrelated ideas. And here's the key most people miss. You don't add silence to your schedule. You subtract noise from it. The silence is already there. You've just been filling it. Stop filling it. What to expect? Week 1. Extreme discomfort. The urge to grab your phone will be overwhelming. This is withdrawal. Push through. Week 2. Boredom shifts to curiosity. Random thoughts emerge. Let them come. Week 3 insights arrive. Solutions to old problems. Your default mode network coming back online. Week 4. Silence feels full, not empty. You'll crave it. This is when you know your brain has rewired. The deeper truth. Here's what the neuroscience is really telling us. We've confused intelligence with information. We think the smartest person consumed the most content, read the most books, listen to the most podcasts. But actual intelligence isn't about how much you absorb. It's about how much you synthesize. And synthesis only happens in silence. The philosopher Schopenhauer understood this 200 years ago. He wrote, Reading furnishes the mind only with materials of knowledge. It is thinking that makes what we read ours. But you can't think if you're always reading. You can't synthesize if you're always consuming. You can't create if you're always inputting. Einstein didn't discover relativity by reading more papers. He discovered it during silent thought experiments. Darwin didn't develop evolution by studying more specimens. He developed it during long, silent walks. Every major breakthrough came from someone who gave their brain space to think. You have two paths. Keep consuming. Keep scrolling. Keep filling every moment with input. Your brain will keep reacting. Surface-level processing. Exhausted. Or do what highly intelligent people have always done. Create space. Embrace intermittent silence. Let your brain do what it was designed to do. Not consume information, but create insight. Start right now. When this video ends, put your phone down for one five minutes. No podcast. No music. Just you and silence.